sellers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make dry shampoo in the form of powder. This is great for days where you decide to skip a day of washing your hair or if you just find yourself in a situation where you can't wash your hair. Dry shampoo is basically just a powder that you pat onto the scalp area and then you kind of just like massage it around and it absorbs the oils on your scalp and just makes your hair look fresher and more volumized. This does not by any means replace regular hair washing. This is just one of those things where you can do like in between hair washing if your hair is feeling kind of greasy or something like that. So yeah, let's just get started. You will need cornstarch, baking soda, unsweetened cocoa powder for brown hair or cinnamon for red hair, a container such as a spice container with holes on top for ease of use, and a sheet of paper. Measure 1 4th a cup of cornstarch, 1 tablespoon of baking soda, and 2 or more tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder depending on how dark you want it to be. Make a funnel with your sheet of paper. Then pour the mixture into the container. Voila! Easy peasy! In order to use this, just tap some powder around your crown or wherever your hair tends to get most oily. Lightly massage the shampoo onto your scalp to help it absorb any hair oil. So you might be asking yourself, Sophia, will this make me smell like a chocolate bar? The answer is yes, but only for a few hours, then it'll go away. Enjoy it while it lasts. Quick tip, you can dry shampoo your freshly washed and styled hair to help prevent an oily scalp. This helps me go a whole extra day without washing my hair. Finally, use a comb to brush out any of the floating powder. And we're done! You're left with fresher hair without any powder in sight. Alright guys, so today I want to talk about handshakes. When you shake someone's hand, are you aware of how you shake their hand? It's been found that your handshake can convey a lot about your confidence. If your handshake is really flimsy and light, it can show someone that you're not very confident. So what you should try to develop within yourself is a fairly firm grasp when you shake someone's hand. It shouldn't be too tight because then it's just kind of like awkward and overly aggressive. Practice with someone in your life. You know, just like practice with people until they tell you, that's a good one. <laughs> this one shows that you're confident. So from now on, pay attention to how you shake someone's hand. This is crucial for so many things and most importantly for job interviews, ladies. Like if you want to get a job, you better show that interviewer that you are confident in yourself and that you have something to offer. Alright guys, so here are some updates of things that are going on with Sophia's Styled. Numero uno, I once started a blog once, once upon a time, long time ago, and then I kind of stopped using it. But it is now revamped, it is up and running again. All of my old content is down and now we're starting from scratch again. For every time that I upload a video, um, specifically for when it's a DIY, you will see a complimentary blog post to go along with that video. Secondly, I now have a P.O. box. So if you guys want to become pen pals, then that's a great way for us to communicate via letter. Old fashioned, old school. Finally, let me know in the comments below what kind of dry shampoos you guys like. Also, let me know if you guys would like to see a tutorial on a spray-on dry shampoo. That's something that I was considering doing, but I didn't think you guys would like that, so let me know if you guys want to see that as well. Also, please take a moment to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook so we can get to know each other. Thank you so much for watching. Keep styling. Today I'm going to show you how to make... <laughs> and that is Diesel. Diesel, calm down. This is great for they... for these. Today I'm going to show you how to make dry... what? I don't know what I'm making, guys. It's just gonna have to be a surprise. I recently become a huge fan of dr oh my god, <laughs> if I could just say dry shampoo. I recently become a huge fan of dr dream shampoos, dream shampoos, I like that.